Hello, my name is Abhishek Bansal with the Wire Client Services team. This video is about basics and configuration of out of band management on Communication Manager 7.0. Out of band management is a new feature introduced in Avaya or applications release 7.0. There are many other applications which supports out of band management like Session Manager, Avaya Enablement Services, etc. I will show you all these in coming slides. It has two major components. First, auto band management disable, it is a default setup, and the second, auto band management enable, it will separate the public traffic from the management traffic. The basics auto band management is defined as physical or logical separation of user and management traffic. It and it could be attained either by different VLANs or different physical interfaces on two different servers altogether. A via our application when auto band management is enabled, so it will run user services on network one network interface which includes IP phone registration, user configuration, media traffic, etc. and management services on another network interface which includes administration, web pages, SSH connections, management traffic from system manager. Uh, there are many other applications which supports auto band management on application 7.0 which includes communication manager, session manager, system manager, EDP with presence, applications enablement services, appliance virtualization platform which is also known as AVP, branch session manager, WebLM, cell OVA. This is how uh, auto band management looks while we are on the different servers. So this is the architecture of auto band management. We can see there are two different physical switch. One is assigned with the public interface and another would be assigned with auto band management. So the traffic would be segregated and would be separate from each other. So in this way we can attain a uh, high security because an, an, uh, every person cannot access the auto band management interface. Separation of traffic. How can we separate the traffic on the cam common servers? When auto band management is disabled, then we will have the management and user traffic on NIC1 of the server or virtual machine NIC0. The AVP management interface will also be on NIC1. But when auto band management is enabled, NIC1 will contain the public inter traffic from the applications and NIC3 or virtual machine NIC2 will contain the management traffic from the application. So in this way, the traffic would be separated from NIC1 and NIC3. The AVP host management interface will be on NIC3. All the application interfaces on NIC1 should be on the same IP network. All the application interfaces and the AVP host management network should be on NIC3. So on the common server, this is the way how we can separate the traffic from one NIC to another. Now th the configuration of auto band management. First we need to configure the auto band management on kickstart generator file where we need to define all the parameters and this is where we can define the auto band management would be enable or disable. If we select N then there is no auto band management. AVP only have one IP address either public or management. If we select auto band management N then it is public IP address but if we select auto band management Y then it is management IP address. Now the second part of the configuration needs to be done on communication manager. For communication manager, administration for auto band management will be done using the SMI on the web page, under network configuration page, under server configuration. This includes choosing the interface, setting the IP address, network mask and finally configuring the system to restrict management traffic to the administered auto band interface. But be careful while enabling the auto band management on CM. If it is enabled before testing then it could hang the system and moreover it leads to the situation when we need to reinstall the templates. There are, there are some ports where which restrict the traffic when auto band management is enabled. Those ports are 22 which is known as SSH, 23801611624432222 and 5023. Now it's time to show you some practical. Now as the first part of this configuration, please provide the following details on ks.cfg file. We need to provide management IP address, netmask, gateway IP address, host name, domain name. We can also provide other IP addresses like NTP server, DNS server. The important thing is that the auto band management is disabled by default. We can see in the following tab. So we need to enable this parameter with a drop down and provide the AVP user root password. 
Now click on generate AVP installation configuration file and save this file. For the last and final part of this configuration, please log into Communication Manager web page. Click on Network Configuration under Server Configuration tab and please provide the following details. Includes default gateway IP address, ETH0 IP address, ETH1 would be the IP address of Auto Band Management and we can see that function assignment is set as Auto Band Management but this interface has not been enabled yet. Be cautious, please test this interface before enabling it otherwise it could lock out the system. So please go to Static Routes under save tab and provide the IP address of the machine which will take the axis of auto band management. Provide the network mask, the gateway IP address of the communication manager and please select the interface as ETH1 for auto band management. That's all for this video. Thank you for your time today. We welcome comments, questions and feedback at mentoratawire.com or on Twitter at Avaya Mentor. For more details or related information, please visit support.avaya.com. Thank you for choosing Avaya.